was part of the program who was awesome. So let's hear from everybody on the program. Let me specifically thank, though, just for one second, Ruth Messenger, not just for her introduction, but for everything she has done to change history for women in our city, state, and country. Now, we're a couple of days away from the primary. And you know, there's one thing I know for sure, which is that nobody, nobody has ever handed women anything in this town or anywhere else. And as Ruth has talked about, we've stood, withstood months of attacks, a million dollars spent against us, and we've responded with the facts and the issues. And we're here. Because we want to make it clear to all of those young girls that I see out when I'm campaigning, the young girls who come up to me and they say, you're the one mama told me about. You're the one. You're the one that mama points out on TV. And you know what? You can
class girls who got out alive? Because notwithstanding women and children first, more first class men got off alive on the Titanic than third class girls. And when you asked her, or people asked her, how did you get off? She said, when the others dropped to their knees to pray, I took a run for it. You know, and I used to think that my grandmother was smart because she knew there was a time for praying and a time for running. But you know what? As women, we know, you don't pick one thing at a time. You don't change the world by doing one thing and not doing another thing. So you know what my grandmother knew? as she was fighting for her life to make sure she'd have a future. This a future she could never have imagined for her granddaughter, not in a million, million years. You know what she showed us? That when other people count women down, when other people say it's over for women, you know what you do? You do two things at the same time. She knew you could pray while running. And that's what she did. And that's what we're going to do till Tuesday. And come with the polls, girls. We're going to be in the runoff. And we're going to win the runoff. And then girls will be the limit for them. So thank you all. And God bless New York. And God bless the women and girls. And God bless every baby that's born today in the city of New York. Because the future can be anything they dream it to be. Thank